Hello. Somebody has asked a very important question. I thought that was a really good question that I have not seen shared, not in a while. And they ask, if this is all you have to cut your papers on, how do you cut your cards two different ways? And she was specifically asking for doing them this way so they open up sideways or the top way. And so this is what I'm this is what I do is I, I fold them over first. So you can do that you can do one of two ways. You can either fold it over this way, long ways, okay, or you can fold it short ways this way. Okay, make sure you burnish. If you have thicker cardstock, then you need to, to uh, score it first, okay? Now we've got these two pieces. Now we can take this folded cardstock and we can put it in. And this way, this needs to be cut four and a quarter now. So this one's an easy one to do, four and a quarter. Just line it up. And now we have two cards that are portrait. Okay, so the fold is up at the top. So this way, if you fold it in half long ways first, like this, and then you cut this in half, then it's going to be landscape. And that's why I have these rulers, so that I can put them on here. So, and I'm going to need it to be five and, five and a half. So I'm going to line this note two inch marker right here, right on the five inch. And then I just have to cut it right here at the half inch. So that's, that's why I use these rollers. So now I just pull it over there, cut it at five and a half, and then I have two cards perfectly cut on this side. So there you go. That's how, that's how I do it. Isn't that simple and easy? And so when I, when I go through, I, I'll usually do five and five. So I'll do five this way and five the other way. So that way, all I have to do is just cut them, cut them all at once, and then they're all saved. They're all done and ready. And if you prep them beforehand, that makes life so much easier because that way you're this this step ahead already. So four and a quarter, four and a quarter, and you just have to make sure you're paying attention so that you don't cut it the wrong way. <laughs> so there you go. There's my tip for this this week: is how to cut all your papers on these or your, or your eight and a half by 11 anyways that's what she was wondering and if you're wondering about the whoops see oh yeah I'm talking all right so now I'm up to five and a half and if you're wondering about a, a 12 by 12 paper let me get a slight a piece of that and I'll show you how I do that There's more polka dots. Let's get the polka dots out of there. All righty, come on, get off my finger. So now you're gonna know. Oh, oh here we'll do this one. That's up top. Now you know how to do the 12 by 12. And the eight and a half by eleven. It's not adorable with the suitcases all over. All right, we've got a piece now. All righty. And what I do with this is the same thing because it's too wide to fit in my my guillotine here, and this is the only one that she had, from what she told me. So what I do is I want to cut these four by six. So I'm just going to fold this in half because I want them to be four by six pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half and burnish it. And now I can put it on and I can cut it at four inches. So there's four inches there. So now they're four by six. And then you just have to trim this off just a wee bit. And now I have two pieces that are four by six and only trimming off that wee little bit. So here's another four inch piece and four inches. 
And here's the folded edge. It's on this side, so I'm just gonna trim that just a very thin sliver off. There we go, and one more. So now you know how I cut my papers. And I do have a bigger. I have a, a large, heavy, wood, uh, old-fashioned wooden, big old guillotine cutter, and that's 13 by 13, I think. Um, and I also have this other one here. Where'd it go? Whoop. Oh, it's right here. I have this one, which is plenty long enough too. So, so you can definitely fit a full sheet of 12 inch, but this is my, I have this on my desk all the time, constantly. I keep it right here next to me. So I was kind of tickled when she asked me that question. Cause I thought, you know, that's fun because that, I do that all the time. So there you go. So now I can put these in, I can file these away with my, with my papers that are trimmed and actually they go perfect with this paper. So maybe I'll just leave it out. Alrighty. So I hope this helped you out and definitely letting you know how I do it. Um, if it helps you out, I'd appreciate those thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.